Hi guys, so in this video I'll be doing I will be showing you how to make this right here. So lots of us have our electronics, so I thought that bring it into crochet and DIY and electronics will be great to have something like this, which is an awesome crochet laptop case. So let's get into it. So for materials you'll need yarn. I'm using two different colors. If you want to make your laptop two different colors or even more, you'll need that amount of yarn. I'm using blue and violet. A crochet hook, I'm using a size J6 six millimeters crochet hook, pair of, si pair of scissors, a zipper line, and a glue of your choice. So to start this off, you're going to make your basic slip knot, and then you're just gonna insert your crochet hook and pull the piece of yarn out. And then you're just going to pull tight, and that's your basic slip knot. And then you're going to make a chain, and to do that, you're going to wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and go into the loop. And now, depending on how big your laptop is, mine is just a MacBook Air, and I'm pretty sure it's a 2013 one. So I'm just going to measure it, making sure that it's going to fit right. And I did a total of 37 chains. So once you got your number of chains, depending on how big your computer is or laptop, you're just going to go into that next chain right there, grab some yarn, come out, you'll have two loops, then grab some yarn and go through both of those loops. That is a single crochet. So you're just going to go into your chain, grab some yarn, come out, you'll have two loops, grab some yarn and go through both loops. So you're just going to make this all the way across. And so once you have that one whole row of single crochet, you're going to move to the next row. To, the, to do that, you're going to chain one, flip over, and then you're going to make single crochets again. You're just going to go through and just make your single crochets all the way across and all the way upwards, depending on how big your computer is. And so if you want to change colors, um, and you don't know how, um, this is how I do it and hopefully it'll work out. I'm pretty sure there's lots of other ways, but I personally think that this is really easy. So to do that, you're just going to cut off a little piece of yarn and make a chain, but pull all the yarn through, making a knot. So that's for your first color. And then you're going to take your second color, and then you're going to make your basic slip knot, put it through the crochet hook, and then you're going to flip your work over, insert it to where you knotted it up, that stitch right there. And then you're going to make a slip stitch, which is wrapping the yarn, going through, you'll have two loops, and then just slipping the second loop through the first. That will be making sure that your yarn is actually attached to the project that you're doing. And then you're going to go through that stitch again and make whatever stitch you're doing. In that case, we're making single crochets. Then you're just going to do it all the way across and just do the same thing whenever you want to change colors. And so this is what I have, and it's a total of... So actually, the first purple part is 10 rows, the blue part is 12 rows, and then the third part is 13. So currently, I don't want to do math, so whatever tw 10, 12, and 13 equal, that's the amount of rows I have. And so I wasn't really calculating, I just did it as I did along, so it's not exactly equal, but yeah. And so if you want to hide away those sticking out yarns, to do that, you're just going to go through some random stitches on the wrong side of your crochet piece. And then you're just going to grab the yarn. And then pull it through. And then take your scissors and cut off the excess yarn. This is great so that it will make your look work look neater and then you'll be only one to know and if anything goes wrong you just pull it out and use it and so now you should have two pieces one for the back one for the front and then I forgot to mention in the materials that you'll need a darning needle so make sure you have a darning needle with some yarn through it and a knot and as you can see I used a lot of yarn I thought it would like go all the way around so that I didn't have to like put in some more but I did it sucked Anyways, so now what you're going to do is you're just going to place your two pieces, making sure that you're going to sew using the wrong sides, so that when you flip it over, your work will look neat for the neat sides. 
And then you're just going to start at one of the corners. And just pull your yarn through and just stitch it like normal all the way around and make sure you leave the top part open because we need to make sure our laptop actually does go in that. So just stitch, stitch all the way around. Well, not all the way, but yeah, you know what I mean. So once you're done, you're just going to start making your knot, which I am not exactly good at. I have knot making problems. Mm -hmm. I always had it. So anyways, you're just going to knot it as much as you can, double, triple knots. And then you're going to flip your work over, which took me a little while. Yeah. But once I did get it, I had something like this. So easy and cute. And now all you have to do is attach the zipper line with your glue. So I'm just going to do it the other way around because doing this was pretty hard. So you're just going to open up your zipper. Make sure it's the right side because I didn't do that once in one of my tutorials. And then it was actually really horrible and yeah, not really good. So what you're going to do is just going to place it the right places, start gluing it, and then yeah, quite simple. So you're going to make sure one side of the zipper that's open is on one side of the laptop case and the other piece is on the other side that's glued so that you can zip it up easily. And yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. So you saw me using E6000, now you're seeing me use a hot glue. So E6000 wasn't working for me like always so I just started using a hot glue gun a hot glue, glue, ugh, a hot glue gun could also work out too and then just it glue the other side and yeah so if you have excess uh, zipper line at the ends what you're going to do is just gonna kind of fold it over and make sure it goes through your like inside your laptop case so that it gives a neat look in the inside and so that your zipper thingy does not go through all the way like I had once with me. But once you're actually done attaching the zipper and making sure everything's all right, you should have your laptop case and it's all ready and done. And yeah. And thumbs it up it looks like a thumbs down from my angle but anyways so I also attached a cute butterfly charm to my zipper with a jump ring and I just thought that it looked really cute with this little small accessory and that's pretty much it it's all done that's all you need to do if you want to add more colors more buttons or whatever just add it make it look awesome and so I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please make and if you do make your creations i would love to see them and yeah that's me saying that aspen of art is awesome shout out to her so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up i would love that and follow me on instagram and twitter because i love seeing your recreations and use the hashtag miss Crafner to send me your recreations like if you make a laptop case i would love to see it and that's it hope you enjoyed remember i love you and toodles